Welcome back. Whether you've got a rant or a rave about your last meal at a restaurant, social media can turn anyone into a food critic, and Erin's here to explain. And Twitter is putting a lot of power into the hands of diners like you, mm -hmm. and restaurants are starting to take notice. Today's online shows why tweeting while eating is changing the restaurant world. For restaurants, some new food for thought. You are yeah. what they tweet. These food bloggers are among those who tweet while they eat, posting photos and instant commentary that can reach and influence a big audience quickly. If somebody had an awful experience with a dish and you read their tweets, you're not going to go and order that. You're going to order what they tell you is good. Forget the old-fashioned newspaper review. Twitter has created a mass army of food critics with the power to publish an opinion right in their pocket. They're saying things, they're reacting, they're emotional, they're posting reviews. When Coco Sala opened in Washington just two years ago, Twitter wasn't quite on the menu. Not even, I, I didn't even know what that word Twitter meant. Now, with the help of a consultant, they built an entire social media strategy, constantly monitoring Twitter for the good and the bad, even following up with diners long after the table is clear. It's about that conversation. It's about listening to what, you know, your consumers are saying or your customers are saying. Uh, engaging them. The rapid feedback is invaluable. It just helps me with information, my business partner with information, our chef with information, the manager with listen how he needs to conduct the floor. And the goal, make every dining experience good enough to tweet. And Tammy, this is how it works. People are downloading apps to their mobile devices or their iPad like this. And the apps help them not only find good local restaurants, but also leave reviews on Twitter and Facebook. And some of the most popular apps, I'm going to show you one of them, is Urban Spoon. And it lets you kind of roll the dice and see where you should eat that oh, night. That's kind of fun. fun. And also Yelp is very popular. And I have a bunch of other sites listed on okay. online with Aaron on the website. I like that one because my husband and I can never decide where to go. Oh, so, and the cool thing go. about it, you get to decide the cuisine if you want and everything else is oh. random or everything oh. is random. So it is a lot of fun. Right at your fingertips. All right. Thanks a lot, Aaron.